the Noakali Women and Children Repression Prevention Tribunal too, on Monday sentenced 10 people to death and six others to life-term imprisonment in the case of the much-talked rape in Noakali Shrubarnachar on the night of voting day of the 11th parliamentary elections in December 2018. Judge Fatima Firdos announced the judgment, also fining the convicts Taka 50,000 each or to serve two more years in case of failure to pay the fine. Assistant Public Prosecutor Saleh Ahmed Sohel Khan told reporters in the Noakali District Court premises. He said that a total of 23 prosecution witnesses were produced before the court to prove the case. Charges were framed against 16 accused and police arrested 15 of them. He said and added that eight of the arrested accused had given statements confessing their crimes. The victim, a mother of four, was raped at George Jubilee Village in the Opozala on December 31, 2018. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina met with the administration's top officials, including senior secretaries and secretaries, at the PMO on Monday morning. This was the Prime Minister's first meeting, which started at 10 a.m. with the secretaries during her government's current tenure. Cabinet Secretary Mohammed Mahbub Hussain presided over the meeting, where the secretaries of 58 ministries and departments of the government, along with others, were present. According to the PMO sources, at the beginning of the meeting, Cabinet Secretary Mohammed Mahbub Hussain presented flower bouquets to Sheikh Hasina on her re-election as Prime Minister for the fourth consecutive time. Two people were killed in a mortar shell fired from Myanmar in village Jolpaitoli of Gumdhum, Union under Naikong Churyopuzela in Bandarban on Monday afternoon. The incident occurred at about 2.30 p.m. One of the dead is Bangladeshi woman Hosneara, 55, wife of Batshamia of Jolpaitoli village, and the other is Rohingya man Nobi Hussain, 65 of Block 8E of Balukholi Rohingya camp, a local person said. The mortar shell fell on the kitchen of Hosneara in Jalpaitole village where Nobi Hussain came to work as a labourer in a paddy field. The number of Myanmar troops fleeing conflicts to Bangladesh to seek shelter crossing the hilly Bandarban border has risen to 95 until Monday morning, according to the media wing of the border guard Bangladesh headquarters in Dhaka. <laughs> While speaking about the letter U.S. President Joe Biden sent to Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina expressing commitment to work with Bangladesh, our Mili General Secretary Obadul Kader today made a pointed remark aimed at BNP. He asked BNP what it would say now. During a press interaction at the Awami League President's office in Dhanmundi, Dhaka earlier today, Kader criticized the BNP leadership for their absence and evasion, questioning the source of their confidence in regaining power. He said people have already distanced themselves from BNP. Kader further said that BNP's international allies have also turned their backs and the U.S. has pledged to work alongside Sheikh Hasina's government. He questioned what hope the BNP has for returning to power. Opokormo, Sondrashi to Porota, Tara Nilbajan Pujunto Chaliet, Kintu Epe Unusufal Ashen, Airport Tara Ashakurit. On the top of Jimmy Bisho, Bishis Purdue Tadir Songyat, Akon President Biden, Padan Mundi, Sheikh Asina K, Juge Kaskura Juno, Ongi Kar Bek Tokora, Po K Abnade Shaji, Komotai Bosan of the Noirbe, Dadir Bevichil, Tarato Action Kaskura, Ongi Kar Purit. They say Jonogononi. বিদেশী বন্ধুরাও বিএনপিকে 
today too late. The European Union, EU, the bloc of 27 developed economies of the world, has expressed interest to expand trade with Bangladesh. Speaking to journalists at a meeting with Finance Minister Abul Hassan Mahmoud Ali at the Finance Ministry on Monday, EU Ambassador in Dhaka Charles Whiteley also talked about increased European investment in Bangladesh. He said that they discussed different issues, including Bangladesh's economy prospects and EU collaboration with Dhaka. Finance Minister Abul Hassan Mahmoud Ali said the EU has planned to assist Bangladesh at several sectors. Italy is the most important Bangladesh in the country. It is the most important part of Bangladesh. 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 We are all focused on the graduation, and that is important for both Bangladesh and the European Union. We want to see a smooth graduation. Um, and uh, of course a smooth transition to GSP plus so that's in the background to our relationship but also becoming more important as 2026 approaches economic um, prospects for Bangladesh so we're as you know very involved in various sectors uh, here including social protection so we talked about some of our projects and budget support the appellate division of the Supreme Court on Monday upheld a high court order that granted bail to Mamunul Haq, former Joint Secretary General of Hefazat -e Islam, in two cases over vandalism of an Awami League office in Naranganj's Shonargao about three years ago. A six member bench of the appellate division, headed by Chief Justice Obaidul Hassan, passed the order after a petition was filed in this regard, said the defendant's counsel advocate Joinul Abidin. Assistant Attorney General Saiful Alam represented the state in the court during the meeting. Advocate Joinul said that the court upheld the High Court order as his client has been in jail for the past three years in the two cases, but police have not submitted charge sheet yet. छिद्र था कुलसि पूरण मशवरा करें बड़ा छोटे 